Hey everyone, good morning. It's Lisa, and I'm going to do my six product tags. Um, I've been wanting to do this, but then I got kind of hesitant because I felt like mine would be boring. But um, as I was getting ready this morning, I thought, well, you know, the products that I would pick, I really do believe in. And I think they're great products, and they're every one of them are things that I have already purchased over and over again, and that I would not let myself run out of. So. I think the first product I'll do is my hair product. Um, it's called It's a 10. I've showed you before in my hair video that I've used. This is my third bottle, I believe, since I've come across it. And I'm really excited now because they are selling this in Trade Secret. And um, they've also got like a shampoo and conditioner and I believe a deep conditioner, but I've never tried any of the other products. I want to, but I've always just used this. And I use this on my daughter, too. Um, she has long curly hair and it's always been a nightmare to brush her hair out. And this has made it so much better. It um, repairs hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, which is a good thing for me, um, pre prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, and most important, it's a flat iron spray and thermal protector because I always usually do some form of hot rollers, curling iron, or flat iron, and um, I really do think it's helped. It's real easy to put on. It doesn't get clogged up. Um, it's just a real good product. I think it's about, I think it's about $18, and it's, it's really worth it. Um, skincare, I guess this is, um, could be a skincare product. This is my, I've showed you, showed you this before too, it is the Beyond Color Plumping Lip Conditioner SPF 15, and it's double the retinol. And this is just the clear version, and it, it doesn't have any color. It does make your lips just a little um, shinier, not really any color, but maybe a little bit more than just like Blistex or something. I use this every night, um, a lot of it. I really go over my lips, and I make sure I go over the edges. And I use this every morning, too, um, for a lip like conditioner and primer is what I'm trying to say. And uh, I've gone through many, many of these. I usually order them about five at a time, and I love it. I would not let myself run out of it. I think it has helped so much with fine lines, and I think it has really helped with keeping my lips exfoliated. And I never really have that flaky. I never really need to exfoliate my lips anymore. I think this keeps it under control, and especially with it having the uh, SPF in it. That's great. And so hair care, skin care, and then I think a makeup product. So I'll pick this. Good old Lash Blast. <laughs> I've spoke of it many times, but this is my all-in-all -all favorite mascara. I can also use the YSL, but I have to work at that one a little bit harder. I have to kind of, you know, to keep it from getting clumpy or, you know, getting messed up looking, I have to pay more attention. And this is just a good product. I can pull it out. Um, I usually do use a lash primer. I usually, right now I'm using the Lancome and I've used the MAC before and they're basically about the same, I think. Um, and this, and I love it. It never, just never lets me down. It always lengthens, thickens. It does not transfer. It comes off easy. Um, the only thing is I do not keep this for three months. I probably replace this about once a month because I like it to be real, I like to, for there to be plenty on the wand. I don't like to have to work at it too much, and I don't think that, it's not one of those that you pull out and it's real goopy. There's not a lot on there, so I usually replace it about once every month or so, and it's, you're, it, they're always having sales on it at like Ulta. They're, it'll either be two for one or buy one, get one half off, so I usually just keep stocked up, and I always use the um, very black. I tried the um, Lash Blast Lux, and um, I didn't care for it that much. I didn't think it was I couldn't really notice any difference, and I thought the black worked better. Let's see, my next one is just good old Cetaphil. Um, this is a product I never run out of, and this is actually Equate. <laughs> it's the Walmart version because I think they're just the same, and this is much cheaper, and I use a bunch of it. When I'm in the shower, I just, I mean, I usually just bathe my whole body in it, and um, I especially use it on my face, no matter what fancy skincare I'm using, what you know, what they've got me doing for, with my face. I always use this in the shower. And I, I love the way you can just really clean your eyes and it doesn't burn. I think you could just put this directly in your eyes and it would not burn. And I like to really get my eyelashes and my eyes real clean with it because um, 
Yeah, your eye makeup remover takes the bulk of it off, but I think this really helps with your eyelashes and stuff. Then every day, no matter what, I use my Prep and Prime SPF 50. I have tried several different primers. I don't know why I go away from this, but I do. I think I just, you know, every time you go to a counter, they want you to try their primer. And um, just lately even, I've tried, before in the past, I've tried Smashbox. I did not like it. I don't like the ones that are real silicone-y feeling. This is not at all. Um, I've tried the Stila, and that actually broke me out, um, broke out my chin. And I'm pretty sure that was it um, that did it. Um, anyway, you know how if you try something and you break out, you just never use it again. <laughs> but um, I've used um, the Armani, and I liked that, but I did not feel like it kept me from getting oily like this does. Um, I've used the Dior. I've used the Chanel. All of them. None of them are as good as this. I think this helps so much. I think it's the um, zinc in it. really helps with your T-zone from getting too oily. It helps keep on your makeup. I feel like it helps my blush last. It helps fill in pores, fine lines, it's, and, and it's got the SPF 50. So it's just all in all a great product. I think it's a great price, and I love it. And then my last one is boring too, <laughs> sorry. It is the Fix Plus. Now, some of you might not recognize this bottle because this bottle is probably five years old. This is what it used to come in, and it was there was a lot more of it. Um, and when they started, I, when I ran out of it, I threw it away, and they had the new bottle, which is much prettier, and I wanted to like that one, but that one doesn't come out as, it comes out too much, too concentrated. This one is much better, and so my mom still had this, and so I went and got hers. And I just, when I, when I get a new Fix Plus, I just pour it in here. And I use this probably a little bit different than a lot of people do. I spray a good probably four sprays. So my face is pretty wet after I use this. And then I take the, usually I have the hair dryer out already, so I'll, I'll go over with the hair dryer on just light. Or we have a little small space heater in our bathroom, so when we get out of the shower, we're not cold. And um, I'll go run over there and turn it on and dry my face. And what this does to me is, after I've used, you know, primer, liquid foundation, I usually use, um, I pretty much always use MAC MSF Natural Medium. And then I'll put, you know, bronzer, blush, sometimes a highlighter. Well, that's all those layers of products. And I feel like when I spray this, it kind of brings those all together. And then when it dries, it sets it. And it just makes, it makes your pores look so much better. It takes any powder look away. It just makes your makeup look really a lot better, you know, in those areas that sometimes it gets kind of yucky looking. Um, and so I do not let myself run out of this either. So all these products that they are not exciting or very valuable to me. Um, I've bought them over and over again. And actually, I was going to put Painterly Paint Pot in there too because I've just been a real big fan of that for a long time. But I just started using the um, Estee Lauder Cream Shadows, and I really like those a lot. Um, they're silkier, smoother. And like today, I have on the, um, just as a base, I use the Pink Blush. And I really like it. And then today for my lips, um, I was going to tell you, I use the Gosh Barbie. It's like a slim shine, and it is just so nice. So if any of you have access to Gosh, or if you live here in the U.S. like I do, and you're lucky enough to have somebody swap with you, it is just wonderful. It uh, has a lot more color than I thought it would, and it is just so creamy. It's just like a lip balm. It feels wonderful. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I really like it. I was fortunate to get a good good girl to swap with me. So there you go. And um, if you, any of you have any ideas or any recommendations for videos, please let me know. And I appreciate all your sweet comments so much. And thank you for rating and subscribing. And I will see you soon. Bye.